About 30 years ago, we didn't have any scientific evidence of planets beyond our solar system. But fast forward to today, and thanks to remarkable advancements in technology and scientific exploration, we've unveiled over 5,300 exoplanets, alien worlds just waiting for us to delve into. Initially, most of these discoveries revolved around massive gas giants. However, as our capabilities have broadened, we've begun to stumble upon smaller, Earth-like exoplanets. In fact, scientists have already identified more than 50 exoplanets with masses akin to Earth, and over 800 worlds with a radius less than half of Earth's. The real excitement lies in finding exoplanets situated within the habitable zone of their host stars, where conditions could potentially support life. While such discoveries have been rare, the tide is turning. Our ongoing quest for habitable planets has led us to uncover entire planetary systems boasting multiple potentially habitable worlds. One such system is already nestled within our cosmic neighborhood. Within the vast expanse of our Milky Way galaxy, there exist numerous compact systems orbiting stars akin to our own Sun. However, planets orbiting closely to these stars tend to be scorching hot, rendering them inhospitable for life as we know it. Yet, when we shift our gaze towards colder, fainter stars, something fascinating unfolds. The habitable zone draws nearer. Enter Gliese 667, or GJ 667, a triple star system nestled in the Scorpius constellation, a mere 23 light years from our humble abode. This system stands as the pioneer, showcasing the first known example of a low-mass star hosting multiple potentially habitable rocky planets within its Goldilocks zone. Much like Alpha Centauri, the Gliese 667 system boasts three stars. Leading the pack is GJ667A, a K-type main-sequence star, reigning as the largest luminary in this celestial trio. This orange-red dwarf tips the cosmic scales with a mass comprising 73% of our suns, a radius spanning 76%, and a visual luminosity nearly 12% that of our blazing star. Keeping GJ667A company at an average distance of 12.5 astronomical units is its companion, GJ667B. This fellow K-type orange-red dwarf holds about 69% of the sun's mass and emits a mere 5% of our star's visual luminosity. Now, here's where things get intriguing. Much like the captivating third star in Alpha Centauri, Gliese 667c emerges as an M-type red dwarf, boasting a mass and radius merely a third of our suns. Despite its diminutive stature, this star shines dimly, with a luminosity merely 1.4% of the sun's radiance, clocking in at a relatively frosty 3,775 Kelvin. It's considerably cooler compared to our sun's toasty 5,772 Kelvin surface temperature. But don't let its small size fool you. Gliese 667c harbors a surprisingly bustling planetary neighborhood. Initially, scientists counted a modest three exoplanets orbiting this diminutive star. However, a meticulous revisit of existing data and additional observations unveiled the potential presence of six planets within this planetary system. Among them, three, or possibly four, stand as tantalizing candidates for habitable super-Earths. Now, what exactly is a super-Earth? Picture a planet larger than our beloved home, but not quite as colossal as gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. These celestial realms may boast compositions ranging from solid rock to a blend of rock and ice, with atmospheres that hold the potential to nurture diverse forms of life. Take, for instance, the fiery furnace of Gliese 667cv, the closest planetary neighbor to its stellar parent, where temperatures soar to a blistering 200 degrees Celsius, or 392 Fahrenheit, painting a picture of an inhospitable inferno amidst the cosmic expanse. As the heavyweight champ of the Gliese 667 system, this exoplanet tips the scales at about 5.5 times the mass of Earth, likely boasting a beefy atmosphere that hugs it tightly as it completes its orbit around its host star in a mere seven days. Now let's shift our focus to the trio of potentially habitable planets within the Gliese 667 system. Nestled further away from their stellar companion, these planets boast masses ranging from one to five times that of Earth, making them prime real estate for habitability. Leading the pack is Gliese 667cc, 
snugly nestled in the inner edge of the star's habitable zone. With a mass roughly 3.8 times that of Earth and a radius 1.8 times larger, this planet enjoys a year lasting just 28 Earth days. Sporting an Earth Similarity Index of 0.85, it's hailed as the holy grail of extrasolar planets. Now here's where things get interesting. Due to the Red Dwarf's low energy output, its habitable zone snuggles up remarkably close, ranging from 0.11 AU to 0.23 AU, entirely within the orbit of Mercury. For comparison, Earth sits comfortably at around 1 AU from the Sun. Gliese 667 CC dances around its parent star about eight times closer than Earth, circling the Red Dwarf every 28 days. This close proximity likely locks it tidally, resulting in one side perpetually bathed in sunlight, while the other languishes in eternal darkness. Such extreme temperature swings likely play a pivotal role in shaping the exoplanet's climate. Despite receiving about 10% less light than Earth, most of what Gliese 667 CC receives is in the form of infrared radiation, akin to a warm hug from the sun. This infrared bounty aids in water retention, potentially fostering a climate akin to our own. However, the mysteries don't end there. Without concrete knowledge of its atmosphere's composition and thickness, predicting Gliese 667 CC's exact surface temperature remains elusive. Should it boast an Earth-like atmosphere, temperatures could hover around a pleasant 30 degrees Celsius, or 86 Fahrenheit on the night side, offering an entirely unique living experience. And let's not forget the ambience. A faint, reddish glow bathes Gliese 667 cc, casting an otherworldly hue across its landscape. As we journey further into the Gliese 667 system, we encounter the dynamic duo of Gliese 667 A and B, stationed at a considerable distance of about 230 AU, far beyond the realm of our planetary system. Yet, despite their distant perch, these two stars would still paint the sky with their brilliance. By day, they'd stand as a radiant pair, visible even amidst the sun's glare, while by night, they'd rival the full moon in luminosity. Our sun, in this distant vista, would shrink to a mere speck in the cosmic canvas, but amid this celestial spectacle, a shadow looms, a stark reminder of the Red Dwarf's tempestuous nature. Known for its sporadic outbursts of flares and intense radiation, Gliese 667C poses a potential threat to any semblance of life on Gliese 667CC, given its proximity to the host star's fiery antics. Moreover, the Red Dwarf's potent magnetism could spawn star spots, dimming its luminosity by up to 40% for extended periods a hindrance compounded by the lack of ultraviolet emissions, further challenging the prospects of life as we know it. But let's delve deeper into the gravitational realm. The hefty mass of Gliese 667 cc imparts a gravitational pull quite distinct from our familiar earthly confines. Picture this. On its rocky surface, gravitational acceleration could soar up to 60% higher than what we're accustomed to. A person weighing 75 kilograms or 165 pounds on Earth would find themselves hefting a load akin to 120 kilos or 265 pounds on Gliese 667 cc, a notable difference to say the least. And let's not overlook atmospheric dynamics. A planet with greater mass can cradle a more substantial atmosphere, leading to heightened atmospheric pressure at its surface. If Gliese 667 cc's atmosphere mirrors Earth's, the pressure might rise only a few times higher. However, should it resemble Venus's atmosphere, pressures could skyrocket to several hundred times Earth's, akin to the crushing depths of our oceans. Amidst these revelations, it becomes clear, despite its snug berth within a habitable zone, Gliese 667 cc may chart a course vastly different from our own earthly journey. Life on Gliese 667 cc would face a myriad of challenges, fluctuating and subdued light, towering atmospheric pressures, and the sporadic fury of solar flares. Yet, these hurdles don't slam the door shut on the possibility of life. Earth itself stands as a testament to life's astonishing adaptability in the face of adversity. Now, let's turn our gaze to the two other potentially habitable siblings, Gliese 667C and CF. Nearly identical in composition, 
both planets orbit farther from their stellar parent, basking in a gentler embrace of stellar energy. While this may render them cooler than their closer counterpart, the presence of a thick atmosphere could act as a cozy blanket, trapping heat and nurturing hospitable temperatures, an essential boon for potential life. The presence of three such planets within the habitable zone of a single planetary system is a cosmic rarity, but to contemplate four is almost unfathomable. According to recent studies, five planets within the Gliese 667C system receive solar radiation ranging from 20 to 200 percent of Earth's current exposure, a tantalizing prospect for habitability. However, amidst this cosmic dance, other factors come into play. Scientists have meticulously charted the habitable zone around Gliese 667C, delineating two critical boundaries. The inner boundary, spanning between 0.095 and 0.126 astronomical units from the star, marks the sweet spot where liquid water could flourish on a planet's surface. Meanwhile, the outer boundary, stretching from 0.241 to 0.251 AU, further defines life-sustaining conditions. In this delicate interplay of stellar forces and planetary dynamics, the stage is set for the emergence of life. Each celestial body within the Gliese 667C system, holding the promise of unlocking the secrets of existence beyond our cosmic shores. When it comes to planetary habitability, proximity to the host star plays a pivotal role. If a planet cozies up too closely, the intense heat can trigger a catastrophic chain reaction. Water turns to vapor and escapes into the void, rendering the world uninhabitable. This phenomenon, known as the moist greenhouse effect, occurs because water vapor acts as a potent greenhouse gas, trapping heat and sending temperatures soaring to unbearable heights. However, planets with a larger mass positioned at the inner edge of the habitable zone possess a greater resilience against this atmospheric upheaval. Conversely, straying too far from the stellar warmth, as exemplified by the outermost Gliese 667G, risks plunging the planet into a frigid embrace, encasing it in ice. While gases like CO2 can stave off this icy fate by trapping heat, an excess of CO2 can paradoxically cool the planet by deflecting light away. There exists a delicate balance, a tipping point where the warming benefits of CO2 give way to its chilling effects. In the cosmic dance of planetary discovery, astronomers unveiled a revelation in 2013, the Gliese 667C system, harbors a minimum of six confirmed planets, with whispers of a potential seventh, dubbed GJ-667CH. This enigmatic exoplanet, though shrouded in controversy, tantalizes with its diminutive stature, a mass at least 1.1 times that of Earth, nestled snugly between the orbits of planets C and B. Alas, the scorching embrace of its proximity to the parent star quashes any hopes of hospitable conditions. Yet, Amidst this cosmic menagerie, hope springs eternal. Planets C, F, and E twirl gracefully within the habitable zone, their promise of potential teeming with possibility. And even as planet D skirts the outer boundary, uncertainty veils its fate, leaving room for speculation. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, the discovery of densely packed planetary systems like Gliese 667c hints at the vast expanse of potentiality awaiting our exploration. With M dwarfs comprising over 70% of stellar inhabitants in our cosmic neighborhood, the prospects of unearthing promising planetary havens multiply exponentially. No longer do we cast our gaze upon distant stars in search of solitary beacons of habitability. Instead, we hone our sights on individual stars, where the promise of multiple Earth 2.0 candidates beckons, each a testament to the rich diversity of our universe. As the aperture of our cosmic lenses widens, propelled by the advent of new and advanced telescopes, so too does our capacity to unravel the mysteries that shroud the cosmos, ushering in an era of discovery unparalleled in human history. After you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next videos, check out this new release where we talk about the high possibility of life on exoplanets K218b and WASP-76b. What new mysteries is humanity going to uncover next? Leave it here in the comments and take the opportunity to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.